Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do another quick book review for the last book that I've been reading. Um, this is Convenience Star Woman by Sayaka Murata, which I hope I pronounced right because there's actually a chance that could be close to the correct pronunciation. Some names I know that I'm just 100% wrong, but that could be within the realms of being correct. Um, so this is another Japanese book. Um, and similar to my last one, it's a Japanese book and it's also got a really pink cover, so that's just what I'm going for. Um, this was bought for me uh, for Christmas by my mum, but I did ask for it. It was one of the things that popped up on Amazon as a recommendation, so Amazon knows me better than anyone else, I think. Um, so it's a pretty short book and I really enjoyed it. So I do like uh, Japanese contemporary fiction. Sometimes it's a little bit odd with the relationships between men and women. There are some interesting gender politics in some of the books that I've read. I don't want to be casting aspersions on all Japanese literature or Japanese society, but just the ones that I've read, some interesting things um, within the relationships between men and women. But this book I really enjoyed. Um, so it has a female protagonist who's 36 years old. She's not married and she still works in a convenience store, essentially part-time, but she actually works five days a week, so I'm not sure how that counts as part-time. Um, and she's worked there for like 15 years or so, and she is pretty happy, pretty comfortable with the life she has, but everyone around her is telling her that um, she's not very successful and she's still working there and she should have got a better career or she should be married, particularly being married, having children etc and the only excuse to not being married is that you have a very successful glamorous career and you travel a lot and stuff. So her friends and her family are all kind of putting pressure on her to change her life, get married, do the kind of more traditional route. Um, she describes herself and her childhood in a way that makes it pretty clear that she is probably autistic or has some condition like that so she has always struggled to understand what is correct behaviour, correct behaviour and she always felt like her family were trying to fix her and correct her but so she's always because of the shocked reactions to some of the things that she's done and said when she was a child like for example when they found a dead bird in the park um, she thought they could take it home and, and cook it and eat it and her mother was horrified at the thought and went, no, no, it's a poor little bird and we need to bury it. And, um, she did, really didn't understand what, what the issue was. Um, so because of some of the shocked reactions for, from her parents and her teachers and people around her when she was younger, she's tried to kind of pass as being normal. But she's never really understood how because no one's ever really told her what that actually means or given her a set of instructions as to how you're supposed to behave until she started working at the convenience store where she was presented with a kind of manual for employees on how to dress, how to present yourself, how to talk, uh, how to act and finally she has a guide of how to behave and how to act and she feels like she belongs there. But everyone else around her is telling her that she um, needs to leave and needs to uh, change her life. So that pressure leads her to making some interesting and unwise decisions in terms of her personal life and her personal relationships. And it's not a very long book, so I don't want to really give too much away because you would spoil the ending pretty easily by saying something that happens in the first 100 pages because it's only... 150, 160 pages long, 160 something pages long. So I don't want to give too much away. But um, it was just a really like interesting, compelling look at the pressures that still exist in Japanese society for women to get married and the fact that 36 is considered very old if you're still single um, and you haven't really gone down the traditional paths of marriage or successful career, etc. Um, and the the way that people feel pressured to uh, change themselves and their lives to fit in with other people's ideas of of uh, normal and appropriate behaviour and success. Um, and, I, you know, I just really wanted her to keep working at the convenience store part-time and never get married. Um, that's like what you're rooting for, or I was anyway, because that's what she wants and that's what kind of makes her happy and that's where she feels she belongs. So. Um, it's a, a really nice short book and um, I recommend. So yeah, that's the entire review. I'm sorry I don't have like tons of extra details to add. 
Um, but yeah, I liked the book. If you've read it, please leave a comment below. If you've got any suggestions on other books that I might like to read, they're also 160 pages long. Um, no, just any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. If you like the video, please like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe.